All right, hi, this is Atticon, and welcome to part two of Railway Empire 2 High Voltage DLC Scenario 2 called Power to the People. Now, we are, you'll notice we're a little bit ahead of where we left off, and that's because Dummy here started to, to make the second video, and it was beautiful, and I tell you, I, I can't remember what I said, but I said a couple of things that would have changed your life. And I just can't remember what they were. But anyway, <laughs> no, don't worry, I didn't. All right, so let's recap where we are. And I, and I decided instead of just, you know, throwing this away and coming back and starting over, I would just catch you up. So we can just sit here on pause and I'll catch you up. It won't take a minute or two. So here's our original group really doing well. You can see every, every city in, the in this whole group is uh, growing. We hit our goals fairly quickly. September for the growing brig, that was a long poll in the tent. Jan first day for two of the tasks. February 2nd for the 200 passengers. So we did a good job there, I think. And now we've moved on to our next uh, thing. So we've got to transport passengers, Lausanne to Geneva, and we've got to make 11 goods available in Lausanne at the same time and grow this whole region. Now this region, the canon of Vaught, is this region here on the north side of Lake Geneva. This big thing is Lake Geneva. So we've got Eigel, Vivi, Lausanne, Neon, and Geneva here along the coast. And you notice there's this beautiful setup where you have the lake and the cities, and then everything they want is either kind of north, northwest, north, northeast, or east, in other words, away from the water, of course. And we can't go, we're not allowed to go across the water yet. So we've got pretty rich environment of raw materials, and they're all out here on the outside. This is just gorgeous. And I wanted to do something completely different from the one we did over here. Now, over here, we did sort of an homage to our original way we used to play Railway Empire. And we used automatic lines all over this. And they worked out beautifully. The exception was passenger line to start brig directly to Sion or Sion. I tend to call it both. Uh, to run those passengers over there. But uh, beautiful, beautiful. So I want to do something completely different. So what we did, we set up a double track line, Scion to Eigel, see it's Scion then it's Cycle, uh, ran passengers here. So we've got, we've got in Eigel, we have restaurant and post office. Then we go over here and we expanded to Vivi. We put in maintenance in a post office and we've got a line going here. Then we expanded Vivi to Lausanne, put in uh, maintenance, uh, here in Vivi, and then of course here's restaurant and um, should be restaurant and post office. It is, and we've got a line this way, and then we we connected Neon, but we didn't run trains, and then we connected Geneva, and what we're doing right now is running a line that's directly Lausanne, just passes through Neon and goes to Geneva, so that we can get this task done. You can see we've already got 70. Uh, uh, moved and we we we, we just started. Uh, you haven't missed a whole lot, and so now we're about ready to work on um, the goods here and growing the whole region. Now the method we're going to use is really a daisy chain of warehouses, okay? And this is very much like. Uh, in fact, I want to stop for a minute and do a uh, shameless shameless self promotion. I'd like y'all to watch, to watch, really, if you haven't seen them, I'd like, there's three, three fundamentals videos I did that I'd like y'all to watch. The um, first one, I'm trying to think of what it is, ah, about the warehouses and how warehouses transfer goods along the line and how you can have a warehouse that holds logs here and then if you add a warehouse here that holds logs and you have a line that runs down here the logs can actually flow all the way from here to here without a train that actually goes from here to here it can just go here you know Zonion, Neon, Geneva, whatever. So I want you to watch that one if you don't understand those concepts and it'll be right up here. The first link will be to part one of this. The second link will be that video that shows you how to daisy chain warehouses. The third link 
uh, will be the second video I want you, I would like you to watch if you haven't seen it already. It's what I call the beginner's level optimizing your uh, rail lines, how to figure out how many trains to run from a rural station. If you haven't seen that, if you don't understand those concepts, please watch that video so that you will understand how I'm just fig figuring out how many trains I want to run on some of these lines. And then your third one to watch, if you haven't done it already and don't have those concepts down cold, would be uh, the fourth link up here, which is going to be to um, a video about, I call it intermediate level optimization. And that is uh, supply and demand where you are optimizing your city to city lines, okay? And I really like you, if you don't have that down cold, I really would like you to watch that. I can tell you that, and I play this game a fair amount and I'm, I've, I've become almost competent at it. And um, I watched that video two times at least maybe three times just to remind me what was going on and what was in that video so go watch that and uh, again you don't need to if you feel like you totally got these things down but if you're in doubt or if you just think you need a refresher I highly recommend you go watch those and go watch them right now before you come back to this so just pause this and go watch those other ones and then come back i think you'll be glad you did all right now where are we? Shameless self-promotion is over. Let's get back to reality here or, or our fantasy reality. Um, oh, yes. So we got our city to city passenger lines and we got our and we've got our nice buildings getting us bonuses. And I think we got we owe buildings down here. And these buildings are actually going to be restaurant and post office as well. As soon as we have some money, there we go. To get the bonus going back and eventually there'll be repairs here so these trains that are helping us get this first task done are just not going to be repaired for a while uh, but i don't think it'll be a problem i really don't i think we'll have the task done before we have to worry about it all right so now we put a station we called it lazon freight north and we uh, have started the process of running stuff into it. So where was I when I got interrupted? Okay, right here, we're going to put repairs on this. And we're going to build a line that goes from here to there. And you can see it won't work. And that's because we don't have switches on this end. We do, have, we do have signals, but I'm actually going to reset the signals. There we go. All right, good. We've got signals. Now we'll build our line. From here to here. Running full. And I guess we'll call this a freight line now. Okay, now we've got that coming in. Also notice, I forgot to mention, notice where it is, one, two, three, four, it's actually out on the fifth uh, platform. I wanted to save these inside platforms because this is gonna be a busy station. Um, we're gonna be running several one, two, three goods plus, uh, well, probably a fourth, probably four goods and, a, um, and three manufactured goods, so seven goods out of this out to the east and to the west okay so i wanted to save those platforms that was expensive now I double tracked all this that was expensive but i think we'll be glad at the end of the day let's get our uh, veggies in there let me get the better view where i can see the topography no big deal no big problems let's let her run okay we're going to give it uh, repairs and we're going to come down here like this and we're going to merge in with that line and then we're going to come back all right a couple of jan jansen's in there just because and we will run full with a freight line there and go. Okay, now let's get our milk. And 
Okay, milk, we can point it over here like this. What? Brig must have hit 90,000 or 120, 90 maybe. Yeah, it's hit 90. It's got another business opportunity. It's still growing nicely. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, um, what were we doing? Oh yeah, we were up here. Uh, we we're going to put repairs on the milk. And then we're going to go like this. and merge in maybe here and back out and did we get that right yes that's correct and this won't quite work but that's okay uh, we'll go to plan two and build a little tiny bit that that will work and back to plan one and hook them together okay and signals and some Jan Jansen's just for good measure and milk milk will go down here Okay, there's three, and this is meat right now. We might as well give it cattle and pears. That would be good. And we're gonna want it. Mm -mm. I, I think I think we'll be good, and we'll do our. Oh, actually, though, I take that back. This is actually gonna come in here. Okay. All right. I, I think we'll build our city to city line, at least start it, okay? We're gonna come down like this. We're gonna go ahead and kiss the existing uh, passenger track. We'll build out here past it, okay? We're gonna stub out what's gonna end up being city city freight line. And then we're gonna go like this. and stub it out like so and we can yeah, we'll wait on the signals for a minute and then we're going to put a station right in here between these two um, let's get the better view station and we'll run it right down through here okay so we'll come out like this we'll give it repairs and we will um, run track that comes down and plugs into that freight line. Hopefully faster than that. It doesn't have to be super fast, but that's better. Hope we took that away. There we go. There you go. Um, then we come back up. And now we're gonna have two lines. We're gonna have a line from here. You know, we're not. Thank you for coming. We've gotta have um, switches. Let's just put switches on that part of it for now and give this signals so that there are signals all the way out through here. No short block looks very, very good here to the freight station running full prioritizing cattle and go and then we want to set up another train like this to here prioritizing pairs and go okay there all right so now we've got the cattle we've got pairs whenever they're ready 
They're not big, probably not, yeah, they're not big enough for pears yet. They are big enough, however, to have, and they should have already had, there we go, an immigration office. Looks like we can put one down here in uh, Geneva as well. Anybody else like one? Any of you guys like one? No, not, apparently not. Okay. These were small little towns we were building. We're about to come up to the end of our first year. And look at look at our footprint already. It's absolutely lovely. Okay, we'll look down here. There's a bonus. We got two hundred days left, two hundred nine days to get that bonus. We will get that bonus. Okay, but not right this minute. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five. And if we just kind of look in here, we've got one, two. We need logs. We're making our own meat. We got this, we got this, we got this. We got the sugar overland. We're going to fix that. Beer will be coming once we get down to uh, well, Geneva or here. VV could be beer as well. Um, whoops. Uh, here's here. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, the next thing that's going to pop up is mountain cheese. Now, the mountain cheese needs herbs and milk. The only milk we have, is that true? It is. That is true. We can't get that milk. We'd like to. Now, let me just, yeah, it's got to be too far away. Let me just look. Nah, can't get that milk. So we've got the one milk we can deal with, right? So I think the mountain cheese is going to go straight into Lausanne. Now, we do have a, a spot here. We got beer here. We got beer here. There's two beers. One of them's going to go away. You can see that coming. And there's a spot here. And we also want to get uh, probably cloth after the mountain cheese, and that would go to Vivi. Oh, actually, I think I like cloth and Vivi. I like the mountain cheese here because we because uh, we got herbs here, and we've already got this stuff running in. And I like the um, cloth in VV, so that means we really should buy this business before it starts making money, okay? 181, let's look, at, let's see where our cash is. We do 1.96 in bonds, 1.96. Uh, well, by the time we're going to grow a little more, we could, if we close that bond, we could easily have another bond, right? Easily. But we're making 384 a week balance on balance right now. Let's just let this go. And I think our next thing to do, believe it or not, is buy this brewery before it starts making money. Have you noticed the cities have become quiet? Okay, there was a good, there was a good quarter. We gained 4.2 million. Not something I planned for, but, but we nice had to see a couple big bonuses. And definitely something I'll make sure to point out to the old men at the Fed Rails. As much as I have nostalgic feelings for steam locomotives, they're just not contemporary anymore. Okay, my apologies for talking over our buddy, but I would imagine we just finished taking people to Lausanne. Yeah, we did. All right, so we can, we can now, now we can pause. We can uh, modify that, all right? We don't need that line the way it is anymore. So these guys here, instead of going Lausanne to La G Geneva, they're going to go Lausanne to Neon. Oh, I didn't know what I meant to say, I don't think. <laughs> that's okay. That's, that's as good as any. And it's going to be 12 days. We'll just run a couple of trains on that, okay? And then we'll set up a line that goes from Geneva to Neon, an express line and 10 days we'll have a couple trains on that and then we'll go into neon and we'll give it uh, repairs and the post office there we go now we've got the kind of lines we like you know city to city kind of thing like that um now we want to get beer here we oh we want to buy this oh, yeah let, let's do that let's really uh, seriously Let's buy this thing before its value goes way up. All right, that I think we can get it now. I don't think he'll bid against us. 
Okay. So we own that, even though it's just going to sit there for a minute. Now, we've got a bonus here. We've got Geneva. We've got Geneva that produces beer, right? So, um, do we have anything in the own? Let's work our way down there, I think. Let, let's go like this. Let's go to Neon. And let's uh, start the process of building our freight line out through here. We'll pick up where we stubbed it off. build and then we will double track it back to where we stubbed it off and then we will put in switches on that side like that and then we will go like that and then we will go uh, pause for a second okay all, everything's working now we'd like to get down here to Geneva, to a freight station in Geneva, out here, that parallels up through here and goes into that. And we'd like that double tracked. Okay, then we'll put switches here. And signals. Lovely, okay. Now we did all that. I think the first thing we'll do Oh, that's a tough call. How many days we got? Yeah, we're good. Okay. I would like that bonus, but I think first order of business is to go here, rename this to uh, Neon Freight um, West, I guess. And... Hmm. And we will Okay, we will um, set up a connection into this and coming off like that. Now here's a good use for Jan Jansons to get off that kind of short line and get off the main track. You're going to go here and you're going to go here. You're going to run full. There we go. Okay, and then we're going to go this 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 one will be a little bit of fun. We're going to come get the better view so we can see what's going on. We're going to come down here and go into this and we without the bridge. Oh, look at that. That's, I thought that was going to be a, a real tough one. That was actually pretty easy. Okay. Well, double track sort of. And there. 
and we'll put uh, switches on this end. And here to here. And get the wood coming in, get that bonus. And we'll also add in the um, grain. We'll just kind of fall off the mountain, come down here, plug, uh, plug into the main freight line then back up here like so right. and we'll go here to here and go all right so what we're going to do here hmm, let's work on this side first okay obviously because it's kind of what we're doing anyway let's go here to uh, Neon and let's make um, you know, the station here we go the freight station we're going to put in a warehouse. Okay. Now, uh, time, slow down, slow down. Now, in that warehouse, we're going to actually tell it to take one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? And that will include the sugar. Now, in this warehouse down here, or what's going to be a warehouse, we're going to tell it to take the exact same six, although this one doesn't matter so much, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't hurt. Okay. Uh, so that'll include this and this for now. And then we're going to have, we're going to look at if you've got stuff in a warehouse here and stuff in a warehouse here, and you connect these two cities, they can transfer the stuff, right? Same thing here. And we've got a bunch of stuff on this one. So we're going to go here. And we're going to set up a line. Oh, oh, oh. And this, this right here needs to become a warehouse that holds four, five, six. Those six items. Now, we can start running trains. You can see all the many things you can pick up here from Lausanne Freight to Neon Freight. But that's as far as they need to go. Uh, we're gonna put, let's put two trains on it for now. We're gonna optimize it later, okay? So now we're now what we've done by putting those two trains on, first of all, of course, we can take meat here. But we've told all these that, hey, we're now bringing stuff to a second city, right? And then what we're gonna do is have a line that goes from Neon to Geneva freight, right? And it's gonna run like a couple of trains there. All right, now we've told these guys and these guys, and these, in other words, all the warehouses, that we've got three cities that we wanna bring stuff to. So all this stuff has been activated to bring more stuff in. All this stuff has been activated to bring more stuff into our system. And we've got a little simple delivery system that'll run it back and forth all over the place. So we're really going to use the warehouses big time here. We're going to go this way as well and we've got some stuff that we want to bring in here into Eigel, something into Vivi, you know, and uh, we're going to go from there. So what do I want to work on next? I'd like to get, okay, we've got the goods coming in here, we've got the goods coming in here. Let's work on Vivi next, all right? So we'll put Vivi 
We'll put a, a train station here to the north. I think we'll move it back a ways to kind of miss the mountain as best we can, like that. That, that works nicely. This is going to be VV uh, Freight North. There we go. And uh, save some money. And this is going to have a warehouse. And you can guess what goes in that warehouse. The usual six. Then we're going to build a double track that goes down here, parallels our passenger lane for a while, and then runs up here into the Lausanne station, Lausanne Freight. And we're going to double track that. Okay, then we're going to give it switches. Okay, then we're going to give it signals. All right. Hmm, then we're going to turn <clears throat> VV on as well. And if we happen to have any beer here, we'll be happy to take it back for a while and make some money on it until we decide to knock that down. So we're going to go here and here with a freight line. Nine days, we'll run a couple trains on that. All right, so now we've, now we've opened up the world to say, hey, there's even more places that, that want your stuff. Okay, then what we can do here is, is start bringing the logs in on this line. That'll be a nice, short, easy one. Uh, let's see, what do I want? I want this. I want to set up log. Well, actually, in fact, what we can do to make that easier is we'll go ahead and build, whoops, sorry. We'll build the double track that comes out like this and runs down to Eigel. Okay, so we're going to have track running Eigel, and then we're going to have a freight station here in Eigel. And it is going to hook into... There we go. It's going to hook into our freight system like this. We're going to double track it. We're going to give it switches. We're going to put switches on both ends. We're going to set signals. And we're going to pick up this wood right here and run it. Okay, give it repairs. Let's check our uh, research. Mo uh, more packages, we'll take it. Okay. All right, let's just uh, plug this into our freight line. Uh, I goofed, I think. Yeah, I did. All right, let's uh, plug this into our freight line like that and come back off like that. And here to here. Oh, 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 I, I see one other thing I don't like. Okay, ah, stop, stop, stop. Actually, uh, uh, we're for, okay. For now, we're gonna run it in like that, but we, we will be changing that, I think. We will be expanding this, kind of the way we did Lausanne. For, um, for certainly for Nevi, or Le, uh, yeah, Vivi and Neon because they're kind of intermediaries. All right, so we got, um, Run full with freight and go. And we did a warehouse here, didn't we? Yes. 
we're going to come back and look at uh, maintenance in a minute. And we're going to need a warehouse here. Are we going to need? No. Yeah, 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 we are. I'm sorry. We are going to need a warehouse here, even though it's not going to relay goods beyond this, but it is going to take stuff in, and we might as well just take in the same. We might as well mark, mark it for the same ones. Now, what we're going to send it actually would be sugar and grain, eventually, oh, and salt. Uh, we'll figure out salt later when we get to that point. <laughs> Okay, for now, we want to have a line that comes out of this and runs. Uh, why didn't I like this? Is it too, too steep? Too... It is. Ah, ah, it's too steep coming out of there. We've kind of built Igo against the grain, and it's now we're starting to pay for it. Okay, you've got to go and I think we'll kill that much of the track. Now let's let's see if we can't put this station more. I think maybe if we put it more this way. Okay. I think the first question now is, will it plug into this? And so far, so good. So let's reset our signals here. Okay. Now we'll see if it'll, do we put a station out here? Let's put a station here. Again, it's kind of against the grain, but mm, we'll see if this will uh, allow us to come off here. So far, it will. So far, it will uh, with a big tunnel. But we can probably, yeah, get rid of the tunnel. Beautiful. Then we will... Uh, Sorry, then, okay, I'll start the other end. Then we will come here. And like that. And put a switches here and like so. Oh look, we got clothing here. Oh, that's oh, that's good. That was the uh, looking down the road. That's what I was thinking. So I, uh, I'm perfectly fine with clothing there, and I'm perfectly fine with not owning it. I wouldn't mind owning it. This is going to be cloth, right? And then there's the clothing, and it'll feed the rest of the cities. And we'll figure that. I'll show you how we're going to do that in a minute, because those of you who have understand these warehouses and stuff realize. Right now, you got nothing, right? <laughs> there's, there's no, there, most of the manufactured goods will not go all the way to all five cities. They'll just go to whatever cities you happen to be linked to. But we'll, we'll fix that. No problem. All right, let's get um, repairs here. And I think I forgot repairs here. I'm not sure I did. Okay. Um, now here we could consider going over and running more track, but I think we're just going to share this tra the passenger line up to maybe, ew, that's a bridge. Maybe we'll come off of this right here and go down like this and then link, you know, on the other side of the bridge like that and like that and be thankful we've got these electric trains with great traction. And we'll reset that because that's a short line, a short block. I'm going to reset that because that's a short block. There we go. And then we'll just we'll just uh, jump on this track. Like that. 
and like that. And we'll run into that's the wrong one. We'll run into that's the freight station. Okay, now I'm going to stop and go back here. Okay, now we can put an industry in here. We want to put the cheese in here. And then we want to have this line running. We've already got milk. So the mountain cheese goes here. That's our next thing. Uh, 2.34 million. Uh, we're, we're starting to make money. Let's just keep going. And let's just, for curiosity's sake, let's just see one of these little lines, like VV to Lazan, I think it's running one train, and it's making us 41,000 a week. <laughs> this guy here is running two and making us, no. VV to Eagle is running one, making 42,000. Even this line here is making 55,000, running two trains. Beautiful. Um, that is the as good as this is as much as i enjoyed uh, watching it grow and look at this we're at a hundred thousand um you know it's missing that pass that beautiful passenger revenue bonus money but i still like this and for a pure city growth this is a gorgeous all right let's go um we're going to replace our immigration office with a university right here It will give us some better research and it will um, help uh, allow Brig to keep growing. Okay. Now, what's going on here? Um, okay, we want the. Uh, uh, well, we don't have we don't have this set up, do we? Okay, we, we really have to be able to take goods from Igol. Oh, we don't have a warehouse yet. Um, I want to rename this one Igol Freight East. And yeah, we just got a couple of items coming in. So what we need here now is we need a freight line between here and here. Uh, okay, something's wrong. Probably missing, I don't know, we've got, huh, that's, I must have, I think I picked the wrong, wrong uh, stations. When they're close together sometimes, it's really easy to pick the wrong one. We want the Eagle Freight to the VV Freight, there we go. Now it likes that better. It says it will not run. Have I switched off? Those are all electrified. Let's go in here and look at this. Now look at that. Now why, why did it do that? Why did it build this track without having it electrified? I don't know where that came from. Well, it's electrified now. And now we can go from here to here with a freight line. Run a couple of trains on it. Okay. Now we've added Eigel to this whole big system. So stuff stuff's going to be shipped ship back and forth all over the place to get goods to Eigel. And our train here, yeah, we don't even, we're, we've got all the sugar we need right this minute, it looks like. It'll be interesting to see how well the system can actually manage all this, you know? And we got lots of money here. 
let's go ahead and put um, put a um, mountain cheese here okay and let's go ahead and knock down this brewery brewery knock you down put in a cloth a cloth business need a little more money we'll put in textiles and in vivi and we'll run this to here and this to here so let's and i think how are we on goods right now see so we got one two three four five six seven eight beer um Mm -hmm. Should be coming. We'll, we'll look. Take a look at the beer. It's not getting here fast enough. Uh, when this runs, that'll be nine, ten. Beer, beer. That would be eleven. So the, I got to look at the beer. Um, beer. Uh, no, no good there. Any beer to export anywhere? There's a bunch right here. I'm going to make a special train just to get that task done. Uh, we're going to have a manual uh, running up to here. And it's going to be beer, 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 beer. And then, whoops, whatever coming back. And it's um, uh, that's good enough. Um, and we'll just run one train on that, and he should load up beer and just take off. There we go. Good man. Now that'll get us beer. That'll finish the task, and we'll run that. For a little bit okay so we've got the beer coming now time out there um, I want to get the uh, this going into here I think we'll just go straight this way uh, there's no train issues so we can kind of do what we want so we'll go here we'll get some repairs we'll go here and we're going to come in to Yeah, to these tracks, okay. And we do, we want to go back. In the world. <sighs> Sorry. We want to go back like this into that that platform. We'll give it switches. We did give it maintenance, good for us. We'll give it signals. I haven't, haven't I still haven't, uh, <laughs> haven't broken the code on when you can and cannot put in Jan Jansons, but we're gonna get this running into into Lausanne. There we go. And now once that hits and the beer hits and then we make a little bit of cheese, we should have our 11 products in, in Lausanne at one time. Uh, do we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Once the once the uh, beer gets here, which is coming from this guy here, and he's almost here. Here he comes. A fine selection of goods is now available in the Canton, all thanks to our efforts. The people are very pleased. All right, so we've got uh, a good, very good quarter. Gained a bunch of money. And then let's uh, let's go back here and look. We finished that fairly quickly. We we didn't really push it. We could have pushed it a little bit more and just thrown everything at Lausanne. But I wanted to get this whole 
design going and we've got it all going and now if we look if we step back we've got two tick two tick one tick and it's kind of it's kind of moving itself out it'll move itself down to here and down to here uh, for growth so it'll be centered around this obviously and actually Neon and, and Vivi will do very well because they're right next to this. So they'll tend to get first dibs on what's coming in here. And then second dibs will be passed on down here in Geneva. Now, let's stop right there. I, I'm, I'm, I very much like this design. I think we're using Railway Empire 2 warehouses in, in an appropriate way here. And there is a little bit of load unload kind of overhead. But I'm more interested in, I'm okay with some load unload. What I really want to do is control and be able to understand where everything's going. So I think what we can do, it'll be, you know, again, watch those three videos, especially that one about the medium uh, level optimization, when demand, supply and demand optimizing your city routes. And next episode, we'll really get into that. This one, we didn't have enough time to actually build out our system and get all the way to that. But uh, now we've got stuff plugged in, right? We're bringing in our raw materials and uh, we've got our warehouses set up and we've got some city city lines just enough to let all the raw materials know, hey, there's five cities we're dealing with. And in the next episode, what we're going to do is step back and, t and take a look at, okay, what's our target growth for this? What kind of, of uh, demand would we see at that level? And how much, how much raw material do we need to be pumping into the system? And how many city to city lines do we need? And I can tell you we'll need a lot between here and here and between here and here. Actually, we'll need quite a few everywhere because if you think about it, all six of your products plus whatever's manufacturing your two cities are carried between these two right so we got to be uh, there's going to be there's going to be a lot of trains and it's going to be i think it's going to be cool i'm looking forward to it i'm enjoying this i hope you're enjoying this i hope i it will help you become a better player i hope you'll like comment subscribe and share the video and i hope you'll join us for our next railway empire 2 video thank you